This is a this proposition, this idea of taking those ten um, notions uh, from the Brazilian Declaration and trying to uh, expand that. I think is a really very it's a it's an actionable idea. Uh, it's almost a proliferation treaty. We're saying we're not a non-proliferation. We want the internet to proliferate. The question that I want to ask you, though, is in what venue would you propose to pursue this? The reason I ask the question is that one of the values of this Internet Governance Forum is to identify actionable items and then decide how they can be uh, undertaken and where. That's the most useful thing this open multi-stakeholder forum can do. So do you have a thought uh, along those lines? Thank you. Uh, we are in the process of uh, discussing the continuation of the IGF. Uh, the IGF uh, can be seen as a place uh, to which everybody who is interested in these core values and principles converge. So perhaps this is an opportunity, a window of opportunity for us to make sure that during the next five years the IGF will devote itself for something that is more specific not in terms of getting to a negotiating uh, result, but to elaborate further and get to a minimum consensus that could be, and including to register the differences, because we have to be uh, aware of the differences, but to make a collective construct uh, with the view of having, in the end, something that we may say, oh, this is the product of our work throughout these years. It's, no, it's discussion, it's great, it's always good to discuss, but we have something else. We have these core values and principles to offer to the global community. Thank you. Actually, maybe before I move to you, Alejandro, I wonder if like, any of the younger participants have any comments on what has been just told. The younger, for now, if I may. Yes, Manga. Okay, uh, so the issue of mobile phones spreading and increasing in number and access is still restricted. And I speak as a user based in Nigeria, you know, regarding this, that yes, we have a lot of people over 80 million with mobile phones, but the key issue is that a lot of the mobile phone users, uh, first of all, the providers in terms of the capacity of the mobile networks, many of them cannot provide the kind of internet that you will be comfortable using. And I always crack a joke that uh, for my Blackberry in Nigeria, that many times it's plug and play, not plug and play. <laughs> because you send a tweet and then you see it rolling and rolling, and eventually when the tweet is already too late, it gets delivered and somebody wonders if you're crazy or not. But you know, thankfully, the, you know, the pipes are landing now. Uh, there's good news in East Africa, there's good news in West Africa now with Glow One and May One landing, and evidently there's a lot of demand from, you know, from, from people. So I suspect that it's only natural that businesses will step up to do this. So over the next five, six years, particularly, I, I believe that the, the story will change because the devices, the cheap devices, the mobile phones are there. What we need now is for the capacity to, you know, to plug into that. Thank you, Benga. So Alejandro and then Bill. Thanks very much. I just wanted to uh, make a comment on the proposal to somehow codify a set of principles. The thing, the thing that really struck me in uh, Vint's uh, first remarks was his comment about how the internet is a mirror of society. And if you uh, have a problem with what you see in the mirror, you shouldn't, uh, the way to fix it is not to break the mirror. Similarly, people don't do bad things on the internet that are in any way different from bad things they do in real life. So the notion of having any kind of specific uh, control mechanism or specific treaty around the internet really doesn't make a lot of sense to me personally, simply because if you want to talk about social uh, values, number one, you have a lot of trouble with universality. Number two, uh, controlling it on the internet isn't going to stop anything in, in real life. So for me, it really is a question of how do you want your internet to be? If you want your internet to be uh, something that's open and will continue to evolve, 
dealing with the problems in the real world rather than the virtual world is the best way to ensure that. As a colleague of mine says quite regularly, if you think you know what the future of the internet is, you're probably not talking about the internet. And uh, I think that has to apply to uh, considerations of lawmaking and treaty drafting as well. Thanks.